Alright, I literally just fucking woke up, I got a message from my mate, and they've fucking done something. THEY FUCKING BANNED SEEDS?! ARE YOU FUCKING KIDDING ME?! FUCK THAT FUCKING CARD! FUCK YOU! FUCK THAT FUCKING CARD! I FUCKING- FUCKING- THEY FUCKING LISTENED! THEY DID SOMETHING! ARE YOU FUCKING KIDDING ME?! ARE YOU FUCK- FUCK THAT FUCKING CARD! FUCK YES! Ah! Oh. We can f we can play the game now. We can actually fucking play flesh and blood. We don't fucking have to block out chain every single fucking game. Did they give us a proper explanation? Ah. Oh. Oh. Blitz and blitz too. Good, good, good. They have to play the game. They can't just slap their fucking head on the ground. Alright, over the course of the road to national seasons and the reaffirm and reaffirm the results of calling Las Vegas. You you the calling Las Vegas? Literally just look at on the online ladder and see what everyone's playing. Bound by, uh, Chain Bound by Shadow has clearly emerged the best performing hero classic constructed. No fucking shit. Did you test the hero? Did you test him? Did someone go, maybe maybe a zero cost bat like Played nine times, ten times in a game, deal one arcane damage. Might be too strong that you can play for free. As demonstrated by Tyler Horps, who won the Calling Las Vegas with his innovative Prism Control deck, Chain can be beaten. No shit. I beat him all weekend. You just block him out. But that's not fun. That's not what you want. Beat him seven times on his way to lifting the winner's trophy. Saying that, we believe Chain's current power level is oppressive. That's literally the word I've been saying the whole time. I've been tagging them at Twitter every single fucking week, saying, fuck this fucking card. It's fucking oppressive. Of other aggressive decks. Yeah, no shit. And frankly, has... Uh, I've got sleep in my eyes. Uh, has consistent play patterns that are performing unfair to play against chain, uh, play against and speculate. Yes. Yes. D did you test him? Did you? Did, but thank, thank you. Th thank, thank, fucking thank you. But did you test him? Did someone in LSS go, maybe, maybe this card might be a little bit too strong? Or were you guys like not actually playing him properly? Unhallowed Rights is another card that we are watching uh, close. No, that, that card's fine. He can stay. With the ability of recurling health from beyond. No, no, that's okay. He can stay. He can stay. Like, we, we have, like, it. Th there's literally, like, engines already in this. You've got that Mechanologist helmet. You've got, uh, fucking Briar has so tomorrow. No, no, the, the Unhallowed Rights can stay. Uh, over the course of the game, that engine enables Chain to repetitively output damage above normal cost matrix. Unhallowed Rights is on the classic constructed watch list. I think it's fine. I, I don't think there's any issue with that card. That is fine. Like, they can put a card at the bottom of their deck. It's a rare as well. Like, no, no, no. It, no mention about Rift, Rift, uh, Rift Bind. That, that card's fine. Last Blitz Season, uh, Skirmish Season 2, we ran... Uh, that ran after the release of Monarch during that season. Chain was the second best performing here. Who was the best? It was a period of when Ch Chain was new and the best built deck had still been refined by players around the world. Since then, players have mastered Chain and refined the deck. With Skirmish Season 3 starting in November, we believe that removing Seeds of Agony from Blitz will support a more p positive experience. Oh, they'll talk about Blitz. Wait, what? Wait, wait, what? What about Dusk Blade? Okay, okay. Oh, they, they did, just did a massive discussion about it. I mean, if you guys are here, find it, like, hear me ramble on. Uh, why now? Tales of Aria might fix it. Yes, we expect the ice mechanics features in Tales of Mac 
Arya to be effective at combating Chain's primary game plan by slowing him down. We also expect Chain to remain the big part of the metagame despite this. As it stands, feel free, uh, feel that there is a risk to the metagame. Ah, oh, no, fuck it, you know, th this is all fine. This is all fine. I just want to read the dust blade thing, because this... What? Wait, wait, what? We made his mistake that they added Tales of Aria in development and its flavor text. It was calling back to Monarch's uh, War of Light vs. Shadow being Demastery's counterpart of the iconic weapon Wrath's uh, Solana's Blade. Unfortunately, Blade was not subjected to the classic constructed processing yet. It should have been. It should You're not testing it! Why aren't you testing? We buy this shit! We buy it! And, and we spend our entire fucking paychecks on this shit! Test! Test! You have money! You have boats! Come on! Come on, James White! Fuck! That stands in play influence every turn in the game. Dustblade invades control strategistics in construct classic constructor where other course of the long game it re reliably accumulates upwards 10 counters. Yes! Yes, it was! Why didn't you test? We believe Dustblade can find its place in Blitz as the nature of format leads to shorter games due to presence of top performing aggressive combo decks such as Ira, Dorinthia, and Kano. We will be watching closely results in Blitz in the future. We apologize and feel embarrassed for this mistake. Good! Yes! And taking learning to better improve the de development process. Are you guys just like smashing coconuts over there? The rhino of this runner. Uh, let's. Uh, hey, hey, come on. Can we do something about Levia? Let's make her not die. Fuck. The up and coming nas uh, Nationals Champ season running in 25 counter countries is shaping up to be the incredible, an incredible tournament season. We are taking preemptive action in the interest of supporting a healthy and enjoyable national championships by removing dust blend from chain in classic dis constructed format. Fuck! Fuck yes! Fuck that card dude! Fuck you, chain! Oh, it's not even out! I fucking have like the probably the only cold foil that fucking is. Fuck that fucking card! Fuck that card! Fuck chain! Fuck seeds! Yes! They listen! They listen to the crazy man from fucking Penrith! They tweets at them constantly! Fuck yes! Oh god! Oh yes! <coughs> Let's get it! Oh. Oh. As the carpool grow, grows, we'll regularly review the cards in the banned and restricted list and welcome back to the gaming tables that we believe that should have been p positive for the format and create a good gaming experience. Good! Good! Wait, the... They're doing another ban list? Oi, oi, don't, don't you fucking, I swear to God... Do not touch Blood Rush Bellows. This card is fine. This card is fine. Leave, leave it the fuck alone. Leave it alone. I mean, like, like we don't need it, but leave it alone. It built an entire deck, Claws, uh, Claws Reiner. Limit it if you want, but don't ban it, please. It's, it's my one ask. Oh. They listened. They, they actually did something. They did... They... They did something. They and they preemptively did something too. They actually, they actually listened and they actually tried. But come on, man! It wouldn't have gotten to this level if, if, if there was enough testing. Who was it? Which, which employee was it that made Seeds of Agony? Let's ban him. You're off the job, mate. You're off the fucking job. <coughs> Oh God! Thank you. As much as I've been swearing at Legend Story Studios and losing my voice, thank you so much. 
I really believe this will promote the experience of every single player in Flesh and Blood. I believe that now that Chain is gone, or has to go different lines of play now, like with dimensional crossroads and a bit of auras and everything, I believe that this game can finally grow and not be stuck under the shadow, the bound by shadow of Chain. But can we do, like, like, it, if I, it now makes sense. Like, look at Leviathan. That, that hero is like, a god unplayable. Like, I try my hardest. Look at Hexagore. What the hell is Hexagore? Can we do something about Hexagore as well? Like, I, I know you, you guys already printed it, but like. <clears throat> Alright. At some point, I'll have to end this video. Thank you so much for watching. And hearing me yell, ramble, and scream at the top of my lungs, pissing off my fucking uh, housemates. Oh, God. Do I, like... Do I just rip this up? Do I just... F <sighs> Thank you so much. Alright, I, I have to go. Peace.